Good morning. This time of the day, we check overnight market activity. And Thursday mornings, we check in with Randy Martinson of Progressive Ag in Fargo. Good morning, Randy. Hey, Mick. How's it going this morning? Well, uh, okay for on my end. How about the markets and your end? Well, you know, we're a little sluggish here this morning. Uh, the market's starting off with a little bit of red ink in uh, some of the exchanges, well, in some of the commodities, I should say. Right now, wheat is a little bit on the defense here. We had a little bit of a sell-off yesterday, and then spilling over into uh, the overnight session. We currently have Chicago wheat down one to two, Kansas City's down one, and Minneapolis is down one to three. As far as the corn and soybeans are concerned, corn's on the defense. That's down about a penny, uh, well, a penny and three quarter. Soybeans, though, are on the strong end. They're up about two cents. They're expecting to see some pretty impressive numbers when it comes in the export numbers uh, this morning, and that's keeping the soybean market strong, but uh, wheat and corn are struggling. Now, the sogginess of the farm fields down there in the southern part of the Corn Belt, has that thrown some uh, cold water on the markets, or uh, did we kind of exhaust the weather premium that's been put in? I think right now we've probably exhausted that weather premium. We've pushed this market up to some strong resistance levels, and now if we can go to the next level, is going is yet to be seen. Uh, and a lot of that is because of the cold, wet conditions and the fact, well, too much rain. And, you know, rain in June is good, but there is always excessive. And right now we're looking at a lot of areas that have excessive rain. So I think we've kind of played that out. Now the trade is going to look to see just kind of what numbers we're going to have as far as acres are concerned. That report comes out next week, and that's going to be pretty important to the trade. And what do you expect out of that market, Randy, or that report, Randy? Well, right now what I'm expecting to see is that we're going to see more corn uh, acres being planted. Now, you got to remember, this is a planted acres report. It's not a harvested acres report. And I think it's going to show more corn acres that got planted. I think it's going to show a few less soybeans because we still, as of Monday, had 8 million acres of soybeans to plant that uh, are being a little bit too wet to do. And we're going to see uh, the fact that we're going to look at wheat acres, I think, coming in pretty close to where the estimates are. So overall, if you look at just the fact of where the acres come in, I think it will be neutral to wheat, bearish to corn, and uh, neutral to soybeans. All right. Uh, how do you expect livestock markets to trade today? Well, I expect those to be a little bit stronger. I mean, we did have a pretty good push last week. We had a cattle and feed report that continues to show, show issues, but the strength in the grains has brought some of the premium out of the cattle markets this week, and the fact that we haven't had an impressive cash trade has, hasn't helped. I think we're going to see the livestock market trade a little bit better here today, and I wouldn't be surprised to see hogs following following me. Hey, we have a hogs and pigs report tomorrow that will give us direction, though. Awesome. All right. Randy Martinson, Progressive Ag and Fargo, thank you so very much for waking up with us. Have a great day. Hey, you too, Mike. Thanks. Will do. All right. Coming up next, another check of the forecast and a preview of what's coming up next on the Valley Today.